Hello and guten tag from glorious Kitzbühel. Now this is located in Tyrol, which is a mountainous province in the west of Austria. I've kindly been invited here by the tourist board to spend 72 hours, so I thought I'd bring you along for the journey and showcase what I get up to. So, let's get into it. So what a start to my time here in Kidspool. Uh, I met up with my guide Anna, who works for the tourism board here, and we caught the gondola up to the Alpenhaus, which sits just below 1,700 meters. Had a delightful lunch there, took in the views, and then we made the short but steep two kilometer hike up to the summit of Kidspooler Horn, where I am now. Now on the way, we passed through the Alpenbloom Garden, this is a delightful tiny little alpine garden which has over 400 species of plants and is actually celebrating its 40th anniversary this year. Really, really beautiful. We also passed by a huge herd of cows, uh, some of which were enjoying one of the subsidiary summits. They looked like the ones just off the milker packet and they were extremely friendly and wanted to say hello, so that was beautiful. But I'm up here on the summit of Kitzbühler Horn and as you can see from behind me, absolutely stunning panoramic views. Now it's 1,996 meters, four meters short of 2,000, but it is the highest mountain here in the Kitzbühler Alps and has terrific panoramic views over the entire region. It actually has a 100 meter high TV tower, which is a bit of a, a slight on it, but still phenomenal views. If you walk around the tower down the other way, I would really recommend coming up here. Right, I'm gonna enjoy the views a little bit more before catching the last gondola down. Let's go. What an epic day one here in Kitzbühel. Now, you can see the Kitzbühler horn up behind me. So after going up there, came down to this lake where I'm stood on now. It's called Schwarzsee. It's a public swimming lake just outside of Kitzbühel. There's a cafe, children's play area, diving board, absolutely beautiful. So had a quick dip here, and then we headed across the lake to De Steg House where we had some evening food, glorious steak and a few rattlers, absolutely delicious. Roasting temperature even at 7 p.m. So absolutely incredible day, which was topped off by the sunset, which lit up the mountains behind me. Epic start to day one here in Kidsbula. Can't wait for tomorrow. I have a four course culinary dining experience up on the mountain. So let's head to bed and I'll see you tomorrow. Guten Morgen here from Kitzbühel. It's day two and I'm heading on an epic adventure. So I'm catching a chairlift up in the mountains to take part in a three course culinary adventure hike. Now, Kitzbühel is notorious for having a huge mountain hut scene, but also a very good culinary scene. So they've decided to combine the two to create this epic experience. Now, the route starts by catching the Bichel Arm lift it's included in your ticket, knocks off around 700 meters of elevation gain, so you can get straight into the good stuff. When you're up top, the hike in total is 12 kilometers with around 260 meters of elevation gain. So it's a very accessible hike and not that difficult. And you call by three different mountain huts and have a starter at one, a main and another, and dessert at the final hut. So hopefully it promises majestical mountain views like the ones behind me alongside delectable delight. So let's get going. So here at the first hut, it was a really hard 20 meter walk from the chairlift across to the Bickel Arm, where we are. Look at this for panorama terrace views, absolutely stunning. Now we've had our first course, it was a delightful cheese, which was made locally. 
with a salad and we washed it down with uh, kind of like a natural yogurt and cranberry which again was absolutely delicious so joined by Anna and Sam from the Kids Pool Tourist Board so they're going to be accompanying me across the whole hike so yeah what a start hard work so far tough tough 30 meter walk that but on we go to the next hut. So we made it to our second restaurant, a Branderhof Stube. It's actually part of a wildlife park where they have a series of free roaming animals, over 350 of them out the back, stags, deers, donkeys, incredible. Uh, so far, the hike has been phenomenal. I'm not exaggerating when I say some of the best mountain views I've ever experienced. From the first restaurant, you skirted to traverse the mountain, a little bit of incline, terrific panoramic views, back down over the valley, absolutely stunning uh, for about four or five K, um, slight incline, and then you drop down for another three K. So it's about eight kilometers in total here. But yeah, two hours, absolutely stunning. Really can't fault it. And what a day for it. Uh, beautiful flowers everywhere, a couple of cows and some wild horses just to top it off. Right, I'm gonna get in there, have my second course. Let's go. So I finished up having lunch in the second mountain hut. We had a delicious venison ragu for food, which is locally sourced from the wild park. And then we actually end up having dessert in the second hut because the family who run the third hut are currently on holiday. So we have Kaiser Schmarren, which is a local delicacy here in Austria, a traditional dish. We had a huge, huge portion. I've eaten far too much. And I'm very glad the last section of the walk is downhill because I'm probably going to roll downhill. But we've come into the nature park and check this out. So behind me, you've got all the animals who are currently feeding. Now, they do this every day and the deer and the stags have kind of got to know what time it is and they wait for the tractor. Um, they, it's unbelievable, but yeah, hundreds of animals here. Deer, goat, stags, a few ibex. Absolutely incredible place. And look at that backdrop. Absolutely unbelievable. Right, gonna enjoy this for a little bit longer. And then we're gonna head down past the third hut, back to the left to where we started. Let's go. So back down at the Bichel Arm where the hike started. Absolutely stunning walk. Um, from the second restaurant, we dropped down for around two and a half, three K into a little village where we passed the third restaurant. Like I mentioned, the family were away on holiday. So we had our dessert in the second restaurant, but a beautiful little village with a massive church. Uh, from there, it was a few little inclines and a further two kilometers back to the Bichel Arm where the hike started in total just under 14k, took us just over six hours, 
four of which were walking. Uh, we took our time eating food and also in the nature park, seeing all the animals, which was an absolute incredible experience. One of, the, one of the best walks I've ever done, uh, not only for the views, but the food, the whole experience, seeing the animals alongside the wildlife park. We saw cows, horses, goats up in the mountains, and the views were phenomenal. So definitely recommend this. It's not too strenuous. I'd probably say it's moderate. 14, 14K, 300 meters of elevation gain. So can be done for people of all ages and abilities. So definitely recommend that. Right, heading back to the hotel for a bit of food. And then I'm heading up the Hannon Camp, which is a famous gondola to the top of the Kijspool downhill ski race to watch the sunset. Let's go. So it's coming towards sunset. We've come up to a beautiful lake, Seidel Am absolutely stunning views of the mountains and if I spin it around behind me is the infamous Hanankam where the Kitzbühel ski race happens, the strife, world famous, absolutely horrendous gradients. I wouldn't even want to walk down there let alone ski so absolutely stunning. Check this out. I'm going to grab a few shots here and then we're going to head up to the Hanankam for sunset. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Got the evening gondola up to the Hanning Camp and made it just in time for sunset. It's gone down now, but check this out. Absolutely beautiful. Gonna walk around here. Look at it this way. Absolutely stunning. And this way. Unbelievable. So that's the Kitzbühel Horn, the highest point in the region. Stunning views from up here. So they'd run the evening gondola on Fridays, only once a week until 11 p.m. So well worth doing this. Unbelievable views. Guten Morgen from the Kitzbühler Horn. You can tell by the iconic TV tower. Now, we just had an insane sunrise. Look at this for a view. Absolutely bonkers. What a day. Absolutely magnificent. Sunrise at 5.15, so early start, but well worth it. Gonna take this in for a little longer. We're heading down and what a trip it's been. So I'm sad to say my time here in Kitzbühel 
is coming to an end, but what a way to finish. Look at that for a view, stunning. The whole place is incredible. I've had a majestical 72 hours. The scenery, the culture, the cuisine, everything I had hoped for and better. Uh, it's an absolutely beautiful place and I definitely will be coming back. Uh, it has everything, like I said, it's got mountains, it's got hundreds of miles of hiking trails, biking trails, be that road, gravel, mountain bike, downhill. Obviously you can ski here in the winter, but yeah, it's just got a plethora of activities for anyone who's looking to escape and have a bit of an adventure. And the town's pretty beautiful as well. Uh, I wanna say a big thank you to Kids Pool Tourism for hosting me, especially Anna. A uh, big thank you to Hotel Kaiserhof, where I stayed for my three days. That's beneath the uh, Hanenkam lift uh, with the Hanenkam mountain behind. So beautiful place, really comfortable and an ideal location. Definitely recommend coming here. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Until next time, I'll feed us in.